Hi, my name is Mr. Crocker, and today I am going to be talking to you guys about how to measure to the nearest half an eighth inch. Okay, so to do that, I have I have a ruler drawn on my board here, but my ruler right now it only has the whole inch lines, one inch, two inches, and if you have seen another ruler, you have probably noticed that they have these other lines. Okay, so what do these other lines? mean? Well, they're, they're fractions of an inch. Okay, so just about every ruler you see will at least have half inches. And this ruler also has the next mark down, which are quarter inches, which is a half of a half. Okay, so half, quarter, whole inch, right? And then some rulers, depending on what kind of ruler you've got will will even go down to eighth or sixteenths of an inch okay so like this ruler here has a half inch line quarter inch lines and even eighth inch lines so you could measure with this down to an eighth of an inch okay so let's talk about that let's talk about how that works and how to use it and what that means so on a ruler, whole inches will always be marked. Then there will be another line, and it will be the longest line. Those are centimeters. That's upside down. It'll be the longest line, and it'll be in between the whole inches. And that's the half inch line. So that's right here. Okay. So, if I had something that came to that, you know, stick maybe, that, that stick would be a half inch long, okay? If that stick went further, that stick would be one and a half inches long, okay? and so on and so forth. So, most, most of the things you might wanna to try to measure are not gonna be exactly a certain number of inches. They're going to be somewhere between whole inches. So that's why they make these, these little lines, right? Okay, so we've got our half inch lines on there now, right? Half inches, which is like zero and a half, one whole inch, then one and a half to two and a half. Okay. And most rulers are not going to have the, that marked. They just put it there. So you just kind of have to know. Now, we can go into even smaller pieces. Okay. So the next smallest piece is called a fourth. A fourth is actually half of a half, okay? So if you take something, cut it in half, okay, those are halves, cut it again, those are fourths, okay? So, and now our, our inch here is really, it's broken into four even pieces, okay? So those are fourths. So, on a ruler, when we're measuring something, we count up, right? So this first line would be one fourth. And then the half inch line is really, it's also the two fourths line, okay? But we don't call it two fourths because like with my pizza here, if you've got that much, but well, you have two fourths. It's true that you have two fourths, but we would just say half because it's simpler gets simplified. So then the next line, one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. Okay. And then it would go to just a whole inch. Three fourths, right? Three fourths, four fourths is the whole thing. Okay, so, and it keeps going that way. So one and a fourth, one and two fourths, one and three fourths, two, two and a fourth, 
two and two fourths, two and three fourths. Okay. So those are our quarter inch lines. So got another stick. Well, how long, how long is that stick? That stick is one and a quarter inches long or one and a fourth inches. Okay. And then my stick grows a little bit and now it's one and three quarter inches. Okay. Okay, if we keep going into smaller and smaller pieces, we're gonna get into eighths and eventually sixteenths. So same thing with the pizza, right? Here's my pizza, we've got halves. We cut halves up, those are now fourths, four pieces. If I cut, if I cut fourths in half, what do you think those are called? Eighths, okay. Eighths, there's eight pieces there, so they're eighths. They're equal to, that, that, that part's important, okay? So, and as you get into smaller and smaller pieces on a ruler, the lines get shorter and shorter. See how it's like whole inches, half, quarter, eighth would be even smaller, right? So. This is the one eighth line, one fourth, so one eighth, two eighths. Well, two eighths is really the same as having a fourth. Okay, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths. Four eighths is the same as a half. Okay. Five eighths, six eighths. So five eighths, six eighths is the same as three quarters, and then seven eighths, and then we get to the whole, which is one. Okay, so one and one eighth, one and two eighths, one and three eighths, one and four eighths. One and five eighths, six eighths, one and seven eighths. Okay. Two and an eighth, two and two eighths, two and three eighths, two and four eighths, two and five eighths. And then my ruler breaks. Okay. So I grabbed a few things from around the room and we're going to measure them on my board ruler. So first thing is water bottle. Okay. We can measure it. So you always want to line up whatever it is you're measuring to this edge, the zero. Okay. So we do that. You can see that my water bottle comes to right about here. So I would say my water bottle is one and an eighth inches. It's not, but this is how we measure, okay? One and an eighth. So you're just looking at where it stops and that's the measurement that you give it, okay? Name, tag. Okay, line it up. Well, that stops right at one. Okay, I wouldn't call that, I would say that's closer to one than it is to one and an eighth. So that's just one inch. Notebook. Right up there. Okay, well that, I would call that one also. It's kind of in between. It's kind of in between, but I think it's closer to one. It's between one and one and an eighth. I would just call it one. Okay. Let's look at something smaller. Doorbell remote. I have a doorbell. I'm not sure why I have a doorbell, but I have one. Okay. If I put that up there. It's not very big. Three eighths. Okay.
towel. <laughs> Just measuring everything I can find. Okay. That goes all the way out to about here, one and three eighths. Okay. So marker. That's between a half and five eighths. And I think it, I think it's closer to a half. So I would just say that's a half inch. Okay, that's how that's how rulers work.